next five minutes together, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. in Central America. It is partway between North and South America. It has more critters per square mile than any place on our planet. 2.5% of our world species live in Costa Rica. It is one of the most biodiverse places on our entire planet. The rainforest where we are is called Corvado National Park. It contains 13 different ecosystems. It is located along the coast of the Pacific Ocean. People can only enter this amazing place with a trained guide. One of my favorite stories about the rainforest is the great K-pop tree by Lynn Cherry. So my family and I made our own story and it's called our great K-pop tree. And I'm going to read it to you today. I can't wait to share our book with you. Sit back and get comfy and grab your popcorn. <laughs> the title is Our Great K-Pop Tree. All of the photos in our story were taken by my, my sissy and my mom and I came up with the words. Two women walked into the Costa Rican rainforest. The women were in awe of the sounds of the many critters. They sat down at the base of the K-pop tree and quietly listened. The scarlet macaw squawked and told the woman, I fly over the forest and see what happens when people help the rainforest. Please teach others to respect our home. The toucan said, my tree is my home. Take care of it. The white-faced monkey scampered down the, from the canopy and said, The roots of our tree hold the earth in place. It cradles us all. The tiny but mighty tree frogs crawled along the edge of a leaf and said, Our tree is home to so many creatures, both great and small. We do our part. Do yours. The woman walked to the edge of the Pacific Ocean and marveled at the dolphins and the crown sea star. The hawk's bill turtle gurgled in the woman's ear. The ocean is our home. Protect it and protect us. The woman headed back to explore the forest floor. They happened upon a Cody Mundy frolicking with his family. The tiniest one said, this tree provides a place for us to be together as a family. Please help to keep it safe so I can grow old. The anteater was digging for insects when the woman spied him high in the K-pop tree. He said, this tree gives me dinner and I am always hungry. Just then the white-faced monkey returned and said, this tree is where many generations of my family have lived. Help to keep the trees happy and healthy, like my family and yours. The kitty did observe the woman walking along the trail. She said, thank you for looking at me and keeping your distance so I can do my work of pollinating the flowers and trees. Hundreds of leaf cutter ants were busily working on the forest floor. They stopped briefly only to say we work all day and night to keep our forests clean. Thank you for only leaving footprints in our home. The women were dazzled by the beauty of the colorful forest flowers. They realized that all living things depend on one another. They leaned a sign up against the cape oak tree and promised to carry the message of the creatures to everyone and they slowly walked out of the rainforest. Thank you for listening to my book, Our Great K-Pop Tree. 
I hope you enjoyed hearing it and looking at all of the beautiful photos. I can't wait to see you next time on Bristol's 5 Minute Adventures. Please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and share with all your friends and family. Thank you.